Hello, this is my patch overview for the upcoming August 15th update to Zero Wayne Ian. This is the third of the series of first anniversary updates. It includes a lot of new events, ships, and skins. There will be three new game mechanics added for a limited time. First is Maritime Escort. Here you have to escort an allied fleet to the designated node while fighting various enemies. There's a lot of useful info and tips on how to play this game mode in the wiki, which I'll leave a link for in the description below. The year in review is a fun new feature that shows just how far you've progressed through a zero lane. It shows a variety of different facts, which I've listed just a few of below. You'll also be able to try out some skins with the rental outfit system, just in case you're on the fence about getting one or not. There will be three small events with this update. New Dawn will get you the light cruiser Aurora, in case you did not play during the closed beta. Albacore's fanbook is an event similar to past drawing events, with the final reward being the new submarine Albacore. And the last one, Ceremonial Gala, will give you various rewards just for logging in. Next I'll quickly go over the new ships being added and some of my thoughts on them. First up is the aircraft carrier SX. To put it simply, this ship is very strong. She has good skills and good stats. Her defensive skill sounds more geared towards PvP, but her support and offensive skills are great for both PvE and PvP. Taiho is somewhat of a niche ship, but can still be very strong. One drawback is her offensive skill relies on RNG to be really powerful, but she can be very tanky, having the highest aircraft carrier HP as well as a defensive skill. I can see her being useful in a Sakura Empire fleet that you want to use a CV with, but don't want to dedicate two main fleet spots like other Sakura Empire CVs require. The Atumere is a new destroyer that has some lower than average stats, but makes up for this with her support skill as well as her defensive skill to give the fleet some more survivability. The new sub Albacore is another strong ship, good stats and skills that are useful with going up against a white cruiser or aircraft carrier boss. She also works well with Kavala, which we recently got. Yubari doesn't seem too good at first glance, but her experience boosting skill will be useful when season 2 PR ships get released, and she should also be getting a retrofit in the future. The last ship that may only be new for a few people is Evora. Her stats are not too noteworthy, but her support skill is pretty strong with a constant 35% damage boost to the vanguard. There will be 12 new skins being added, 3 of which are YTD. Also note that all of them will be on sale for the first week except for the Monarch skin. We will also be getting a new baseball themed dorm set. Here is a list of additional small changes, including double gem reset, anniversary lucky bag, and a few voice updates. So that's it for this video. There's a lot of new content with this update, and I'd be curious to hear which is your favorite in the comments. I hope they enjoyed the video and found it informative, and thank you for watching.